So Man United have announced the signing of Fred from Shakhtar Donetsk, a new midfielder who can operate in quite a number of roles. And we're also on the verge of completing a deal for Diogo Delot from Porto, a new right back. But what does that mean for Manchester United's best formation next season? Where will Fred play? Where will Delot play? What I'm going to do is run through a few formations. I want to hear from you in the comments what you think Man United's best team will be next year. Now, a formation that Man United used a lot last season was a 4-2-3-1. You saw Matic playing alongside Pogba. You had Sanchez on the left up front. You had Lukaku there. You had Mata operating in the number 10 quite often. And Lingard on the right. Will Fred operate in that position? Now, Fred is somebody who can play defensive midfield. He was molded into that position at Shakhtar Donetsk, but he also is more of a naturally attacking player. So he's not a Kante or a Matic type defensive midfielder. He has the ability and the drive to bring the ball out of defence. And I think that's what Fred's really going to bring to this team. That's something we desperately lacked last year. Anytime we have possession in our own half, in front of our own defence, we found it very hard to break away at pace. Or at least have the tempo to play it through the lines. Someone like Fred will really, really help with that. He's very, very naturally talented with the ball at his feet. And he's happy to bring the ball out of defence. I think... That is something he will really do. Will he do that in this sort of formation, though? If you look at a 4-2-3-1, you've got him alongside Matic there with Pogba just in front. I'm not sure whether that would restrict Fred too much and probably wouldn't get the best out of him. But Diogo Delot, obviously, he's going to play right back. And it's something I'm really, really excited about. In my limited time of watching him on YouTube and seeing how he plays, the kid can take the ball past a player. And I know it sounds stupid to be excited about that, about a right back, but we've seen Antonio Valencia for the last few years. And he just stops when he runs into someone, turns, passes it backwards. Delot has the ability to skip past players and he can cross a ball. And again, that's another area where Antonio Valencia has been weak in the last couple of years. Any good cross from Valencia has basically been a drilled cross. He closes his eyes, he hoofs it, somebody sometimes gets on the end of it. But Delot has the ability to curl a ball in, to see a player and to find him. And that it will make a huge difference to United's attack down the left and the right-hand sides because the width from United last season should have come from the full-backs. And because it didn't, we ended up playing very narrow with Sanchez cutting inside, Rashford and Lingard naturally cutting inside. We didn't have proper natural width. Delot would bring that down the right in pretty much any formation you play, and certainly in this 4-2-3-1. But if we're not going to play that, we're going to play the formation here, I hope, that we play next season. That's a 4-3-3. A more traditional 4-3-3 with Matic sitting at the bottom of a midfield three with Fred and Pogba in front of him. And not only do I think that will get the best out of Fred because it allows him to play in a central midfield role so he can come and defend and win the ball back if he wants to get it. But he has the freedom to run up the pitch and not be restricted by defensive duties. The exact same applies to Paul Pogba. We don't want Pogba picking up the ball 10, 15 yards into his own half. We want Pogba picking up the ball in the halfway line and then running out of defence. That's when you're going to get the best out of Paul Pogba. And it also means you can play like the likes of Sanchez here on the left or Lingard on the right. They can really stay wide because the two midfielders will be running into the space on the edge of the box. And it means that we can... And then you look at the overlaps that we could get from Delot and whoever's going to play left back. I've put Ashley Young here, but I really don't think it should be Ashley Young next season. The same way we needed to improve our right back options, we definitely need to improve our left back options. For me, the 4-3-3... Looks like it makes most sense with this team now. Matic operating as the pure defensive midfielder that he is. Not tasking him with running the ball forward, doing anything. Just screen the defence, sit in front of that back four or five or whatever formation United are playing and protect them. That's what Matic did extremely well at the start of last season, his debut campaign. That's what I want him to do next year. And signing Fred and playing him alongside Pogba just in front in a midfield three, I think could get the best out of Matic, the best out of Fred whatever that may be, and the best out of Pogba, certainly. We need to free Pogba up. It's always been a big problem we had last year. And when you do, he can be majestic like he was in the second half against City. Two goals, turn the game around. But I'm very excited to see the energy that Fred brings into midfield. And that's something I've really felt that we have lacked. And it's the reason why I've always enjoyed watching Ander Herrera play for United. Because he's busy in midfield, which sounds like, again, a stupid thing to say, but I've got too used to static lethargic midfielders. Pogba is one of those. Matic is one of those when he's in a defensive type role. In terms of winning the ball back, out of possession, we need to be better 
off the ball. And someone like Fred will really bring that to our midfield. And again, looking at Delot on the right back position there, having him overlapping, giving Lingard the opportunity to actually cut inside, but have an option on the outside would make the world of difference. United became so predictable last year in attack. We always got to the point where you knew we weren't going to have any overlapping runs, so we had to go back inside. It was very easy to defend against, and ultimately we ended up playing it long to Romelu Lukaku a hell of a lot. Bringing someone like Delot in, maybe playing him in certain games instead of Valencia, gives us the overlapping option. Bringing Fred in gives us the, that option in midfield as well, that we're going to have drives from deep onto the edge of the box, the late surges and runs into the box. Fred and Delot should make United so much more unpredictable in attack. And they're reasons alone as to why they are good signings. Alternatively, United could play a 5-3-2. I don't really think it plays to the strengths of the squad, so I don't really want to see it. But Mourinho played it a few times last season. I remember CSK in Moscow away, he played it and it worked really, really well. Because it's very much built on counter-attacking. Who those three centre-backs would be, I don't know. Lindelof and Bayer are two of them. I'm putting Jones in as well. I, want, I wouldn't mind seeing Delot as a right wing back. I want to see what he's got. But for me, that's probably Antonio Valencia's best position is a right wing back because he can run for days. But he just doesn't have that ability once he gets to the final third to find his teammate, really, unless he cuts back inside. For me, I don't really want to see this. You know, you could play Matic and probably Fred in the middle. Maybe Pogbrin in more number 10 position with Sanchez and Lukaku up front. But for me, that doesn't get the most out of our team. And on paper right now... United's best looking formation certainly is 4-3-3. Let me know what you think in the comments below though. How do you feel we'll get the best out of Fred? A dynamic midfielder who can play defensive midfield, but is more of a central midfielder, has the ability, natural ability to run the ball forward. He was more of an attacking midfielder back when he played in Brazil. So he really wants the ball at his feet. He wants possession. He's hungry for possession. He's greedy for it. I suppose like how Spaniards play. But Matic doesn't play like that. Playing defensive midfield, let him feed it into Fred, feed it into Pogba. That way we should get the most out of our team. But let me know what you think in the comments below. What's your ideal formation next year if it includes Fred and a lot? Let me know in the comments. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.